What's up guys, Mike here, and I'm back with the uh, somewhat finished product of the Rough Country YJ Winch uh, bracket install. Uh, I picked this up brand new out of the box uh, from someone off Facebook, and I believe this kit retails for around $249, so uh, we paid about 100 bucks for it. Install took a little while and that was because you have to hone out the hose uh, on the bumper where you're going to make a bracket and uh, It took a little while not too long, but the biggest thing is you need one of those um, cone tapered tips Let's see if I have one here So you need something like this in order to open the hose the bolts on this is pretty massive. I believe this is a 9 16th, pretty sure. And uh, that's the bit that's required. And I I might have cut just a little extra, you know, on the bumper, but I had some issues with uh, getting it lined up and things like that. But overall, we have a winch that we're going to put on it here in a little bit. I got to take a time out. Uh, I'm exhausted. I've been running around all day. It does stick out a little bit. It definitely is really strong. Uh, you can definitely jump on it and things like that. I don't think you'd have any issues. Uh, it's basically this bracket slides all the way through your bumper. And underneath the bumper, there's going to be holes in the, in the bumper itself. But the bracket goes through. And then a plate sandwiches on the bottom. And uh, it's hard to see, but... It basically grabs onto the bumper itself with another plate and a bunch of bunch of screws. So I think I used a total of around 20 bolts and washers. Uh, this ain't going anywhere. So that's my overall video about it. Um, what do I think the downfall is with the Rough Country? I know a lot of people kind of hesitate with them as a brand, especially with lift kits and things like that. The only downfall that I had was if your hose aren't exactly right, I guess. When I went to go put the, the main base plate here on, I was having problems because this basically, this slides in there and it has nuts welded onto it. So your screws get locked into place to hose the plate right here. The problem was the nuts are welded on to your bracket right here that slides into your, it's like a receiver almost and they have to be perfectly flat or else when you drive your drive your boat down here it's not going to want to grab really good so i ended up opening the hose just a little bit give me some wiggle room and that was uh the answer to get that bolted in but ah oh shit i done smashed my own damn finger but anyway guys i'm gonna go inside i've got a couple beers in the freezer Thanks for watching, and uh, have a good night.